Well, the deadly shooting in Boulder is the seventh mass shooting in just the last seven days here in the United States. From inside a Houston club to a drive-by in Philadelphia and, of course, that shooting in Atlanta. Tonight, Salt Lake County leaders are urging all of us to take action to end hate. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, the mayor says it's time for less talk and more doing. Mayor Jenny Wilson today was joined by several leaders from our Asian American community as she called us to action to denounce hate and violence against the Asian American and Pacific Islander communities. Our AAPI communities are hurting. State Senator Janie Iwamoto says there is fear among Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in Utah. Let us take this horrific and unspeakable acts of hate and discrimination, xenophobia, and look to becoming educated, working with our law enforcement, and standing in solidarity against hate. Urging us to speak out against prejudice and report hate crimes. Words matter and have been attributed to precipitous rise in anti-Asian violence. Actions matter. If we see hateful behavior, we cannot idly stand by. So today I stand in solidarity and as an ally to denounce hate. And I'm also here to ask that our community take action. During the last year, nearly 4,000 violent attacks against people of Asian and Pacific Islander descent in the U.S. and a growing number of those crimes in Utah. State Representative Karen Kwan, a descendant of a Chinese railroad worker, says they have too often been marginalized. Our history as Asian American Pacific Islanders is either racialized or, in, or invisible. We are either perpetual foreigners or the model minority. Urging Utahns to support Asian American and Pacific Islander businesses take bystander training to learn how to de-escalate conflict and get to know Asian Americans. We know how to um, reduce prejudice and that's to get to know one another. Tomorrow the Salt Lake County Council on Diversity Affairs will adopt a plan of action to eradicate systemic bias and institutional racism. In Salt Lake, Jed Bowl for KSL 5 News. Thank you, Jed.